it's time for Commander 2017. Cue the fanfare. The yearly Commander product is back, and this time the theme is tribal. Your four tribes are flying lizards, goth kids, a Hasbro subsidiary, and cats. Cats? cats. The fuck? Let's start with the best tribe until dinosaurs are here. It's dragons, led by the Ur Dragon. Oh my god, it's gigantic! 9 mana, 10 10 flying dragon, draws cards, cheats things into play. Oh, someone hold me! All the face commanders for these decks have an M&M ability Mom Spaghetti that does something on the battlefield or in the command zone. And abilities in the command zone are never obnoxious or overpowered. And if you don't want to play the Ur Dragon for some reason, there's always Okagachi, who is a flying snake, not a dragon who allowed this, or try out Robo Dragon. Oh, I smell an infinite combo. Ramos, Conflux. And then simply th This deck also has Washitora, who is a cat dragon? What is going on? Oh no, those tokens are adorable, I'll allow it. With this being a 5 color deck, it's a good thing it comes with some great fixing, like fetch lands and chromatic lantern and NO! You get tap lands and you'll be happy about it! Good day, sir! <laughs> then there's vampires, led by Edgar Markov, first vampire of Innistrad, founder of the great Markov bloodline, grandfather of the powerful vampire planeswalker Soren Markov, hashtag still suck on a rock, and he's... boring. Shit. Luckily, the other vampires are sweet. Lysia gets cheaper with every life gain, which is real useful when the same jerk keeps killing my commander each time it comes out, Alex. And then there's Mathis, which brings the Wild West to magic by placing bounties on those dastardly outlaws. Finally, I can live out my 19th century vampire cowboy fantasies. Delicious. Who would have thunk it? It's Wizards, and it's led by Inala Archmage Ritualist who apparently makes clones of other wizards and brutally murders them. <laughs> Seems like a nice person. There's also Kess, Snapcat, I mean, Dissident Mage. Which is basically a Snapcaster every turn. Ship it! Mersil gets the award for weirdest interaction, for being able to exile a vehicle and turn into a fucking car. Autobots, transform and roll out! Luckily, this precon doesn't include the only land that interacts with wizards or any good counterspells, cause that would be weird. And finally, we have the cat deck, led by Arrabo, Roar of the World. He makes your cats big. Like, really big. Like, Biggie Smalls big. Without the smalls part. Yeah, that big. Otherwise, there's Nazan, and then it's hammer time. You can't touch this. And there's also Miri, Weatherlight Duelist. Last I heard, she had turned into a vampire cat. So I'm glad she's doing all right. Blah 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 oh. blah 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 oh, blah oh, blah wait. blah blah. She's dead. Blah blah. Oh. Hey, look, a Mirari's wake. Shiny. And for those who like stupid things, this deck also has Balin, Wandering Knight, which can attach all the equipment you control for two mana. He's like a cat magnet. N no, not a magnet that attracts cats. He's a cat that's like a. a, a forget about it. And now the dust has settled, and the decks face final judgment. But who will be crowned champion of Commander 2017? It's... This fucking guy in all the cursed artworks. Look at him! 